the third day of Navratri and welcome. The third day is in worship of Chandra Ghanta, Chandra meaning the moon, Ghanta meaning the bell. Parvati in the mother form is here adorning a moon on her head, similarity with Shiva. And also the moon is shaped in the form of a bell and therefore the name Chandra Ghanta. She is also seen as a saviour, ever ready for battle and therefore with her third eye open. So this is about the third day. Now let's look at the dolls at my place. Let's first have a look at various formats of Ganesha, all made with Koya. Some of them are completely carved out of coconut, as you would see this and that. Completely carved out of coconut. The remaining are, of course, made out of koya. Coming to this side, we have the steps, which normally and traditionally constitute the basis of the Navaratri Golu. Here, you've, on the first step, I have the Vishwarupam of Mahavishnu and then the entire lot is Ganesha in various forms. Over there you see half Ganesha and half Hanuman and then you come down to seeing some more modern ones. Ganesha playing chess, Ganesha with his food, Ganesha playing chess here and Ganesha with food, Ganesha resting with all his majesty. My wife and I, doctor and lawyer combination, so we have a doctor Ganesha and a lawyer Ganesha. It would be interesting if one of my viewers count the number of Ganesha and ping me and tell me how many Ganeshas they've been able to count. Row 1, 2, 3, we are now at row 4. Many of these Ganeshas that you see are carved out in such a manner that you can see him both from the front and from behind. The back side is also a mirror image of what you have on the front. Ganesha plays an accountant here. And is a more than techie here with his laptop. There's an entire set of musical Ganeshas here, there and here. Here they are a set of six musicians, there there are a set of five musicians, here there are a set of four, four musicians. At the penultimate step, they're all showcased literally. Here is a Ganesha on a rocking chair. That is a Navaratan Ganesha that you would see. Navadhanya constitute the forms, constitute the making of that Ganesha. Ganesha there on a lotus flower. <coughs> the very interesting piece of architecture in this Ganesha. And this is a Gini Ganesha, a very minute Ganesha you find inside a bottle. You again have them in their musical format, five of them here. First start off on a metal uh, tour right now. On a small mirror side, on a small window side of our house, we have a few diyas, all metal. All of them are in the form of diyas. And puja samagri behind. We have a black metal set of animals and dancers below. 
are they dancers, are they work persons? They look an extremely interesting set and completely different from most of the toys we have. They must be made, I think, of some iron mold, I wouldn't know what. An old set of traditional dolls of old times. These must all definitely be more than six to seven decades old in our families. Here we have again a metal a set of metal musicians, metal lamps again. And then the chumbak type of uh, material kettles, drinking chai glasses, painted uh, kettles, bottles, tiffin boxes, colorful ones, water pail, a can, a can and a water pail next to it. Some amazing uh, metal toys over here you will see. Men with the cart, the two men on an elephant. And then you have the traditional diyas leading to various uh, <coughs> idle formats, all in metal. So we'll be signing off, hopefully that you're seeing all this and enjoying it. Do tell me your comments. Day three is, we finished my ground floor tour of the Navaratri Golu for day three. See you tomorrow again, day four. Signing off today with acknowledgements and thanks to Abhinav and Dattu. Have a nice Dashera, have a safe Dashera.